Hey, what's up y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious fried catfish nuggets. This recipe serves about two to four people. It's well seasoned and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your fried catfish nuggets. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two pounds of catfish nuggets, yellow cornmeal, all-purpose flour, large eggs at room temperature, two large lemons, Zatarain's Creole mustard, and for your seasonings, you'll need some salt, black pepper, Tony Saturated Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Mama Cajun seasoning. you also need some Chef Paul Podom's Seafood Magic, granulated onion, granulated garlic, some dried thyme, some Zatarain's crab ball. Now, if you don't have this, you can omit it from the recipe. And you will also need some vegetable or canola oil. And for your tools, you'll need a four quart pot or deep fryer. You also need a thermometer. Now you're only gonna need the thermometer if you're only using the four quart pot. You will also need a cooling rack and a citrus juicer. And there we have it. Alrighty, let's get straight to it. So here I have added my catfish nuggets into the strainer and I'm going to rinse the catfish nuggets off with cold water. Now at this point you want to go ahead and inspect the catfish nuggets to make sure that there are no bones or anything in there because uh, you're going to find quite a few. So you want to make sure that you check that out and make sure that your catfish are all good and ready to go. Now I'm going to rinse off my large lemons. From there I'm going to cut the lemons in half. Next we're going to juice the lemon side, my citrus juicer here. And you're going to juice all halves of the lemon with this juicer. Okay, next I'm going to uh, strain the uh, lemon juice. So I have a mesh strainer with a uh, measuring cup underneath there, ready to go. A little spoon. Stir that a little bit. And once done, you should have about one third cup of lemon juice in there. Okay, I've transferred my catfish nuggets into this large bowl. Now let's add some seasoning. I'm gonna add two to three teaspoons of the Zatarain's Crab Ball. If you don't have this and you're using Tony Sachery, it's the same amount, about two to three teaspoons. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of Chef Paul Podom's Seafood Magic. Two teaspoons of granulated onion. Two teaspoons of granulated garlic. A half to one teaspoon of dry thyme. Four teaspoons of the Zatarain's Creole Mustard and one third cup of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now I'm gonna take my hands and I'm just gonna coat all of those seasonings, lemon, and the Zatarain's Cruel Mustard onto the catfish. Now you can adjust the seasonings for the recipe as needed. You can add more or less if you like. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. Now you can place this into your refrigerator for about four hours, but as for me, I'm a patient guy, so I'm going to place this into my refrigerator overnight. So we're looking at about 15 to 24 hours. Okay, here's our catfish nuggets after we let them marinate overnight. Now we're gonna let this sit out for about 20 to 25 minutes, just to let the catfish thaw out some, so that way they won't be so cold when we uh, batter them and add them into the hot oil. Okay, let's get started with the preparation of our seasoned egg batter. So in this medium sized bowl, I have about four large eggs at room temperature. Now we're going to add just a small, very small amount of seasoning in here and go from there. And also keep in mind that seasonings can be adjusted to your taste. So I'm going to uh, sprinkle about one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth of a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and one eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's a light sprinkle. Now I'm gonna just take my whisk and I'm just gonna stir this until I combine. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get started with our seasoned cornmeal and all purpose flour batter. So in this uh, large Tupperware bowl, make sure that you have a lid to go right on top. I'm gonna add one and one half cups of yellow cornmeal 
one and one half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, two to three teaspoons of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudam's Seafood Magic, two to three teaspoons of onion powder, two to three teaspoons of garlic powder, and one and one half teaspoons of dried thyme. Stir all your ingredients together. There we go. Preheat your fire to medium heat. If you are using a deep fryer, preheat it to 375 degrees. Okay, let's get started with heating our oil. So in this medium-sized four-quart pot, I've added 48 fluid ounces of canola oil. You can also use vegetable oil as well. Now, if you're using a deep fryer, you want to add the amount of oil according to the instructions on the deep fryer on how much oil to add and go from there. And of course, if you're using a four quart pot, you want to make sure that you have a thermometer to monitor the temperature of the oil. Now you're going to let the oil get hot until the oil reaches a temperature of 375 degrees. Before you begin frying your fish, make sure that you have a cooling rack with an 11 by 17 inch baking pan underneath it ready. So that way after we fry our fish, we place it right on this. Okay, now that we have our catfish marinated along with our batters seasoned and ready to go. Now let's go ahead and fry our catfish. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the catfish nuggets here. And I'll just place them into the seasoned egg mixture. And I'm just gonna coat those catfish nuggets with the seasoned egg mixture. And from there, we're just gonna remove them out of the egg mixture. Just gonna shake them so that way some of the egg mixture can drip off. And from there, I'm going to add them into the seasoned all-purpose and cornmeal batter. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. Make sure that this has an uh, airtight seal. Now I'm going to go ahead and shake it to coat the catfish nuggets with that seasoned all-purpose and yellow cornmeal batter. Remove the catfish nuggets. Let's give it a shake to remove some of the seasoned cornmeal all-purpose flour batter off just a little bit. And from there, we're going to take them and add it into the hot oil. Now, frying times vary depending on the size of the catfish. Let this fry for four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes now and our fish is floating at the surface. That lets us know that it is done. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a mesh string spoon. I'm just going to scoop up the catfish nuggets. And I'm going to just hold it for a couple of seconds just to let some of the oil drain. And from there, I'm going to transfer the catfish nuggets onto a cooling rack with a pan underneath it. Let this cool for about five minutes before serving. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, fried catfish nuggets made by New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious homemade catfish nuggets. You can go to www. CharlieCookAndrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah, now it's time to go eat and take a bite. Oh, y'all look at that. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. really really good the catfish has a nice little crunch to it along with the seasons that we added in the lemon and with that little hint of creole mustard it's not overpowering at all with the mustard just a little very very slight mustard flavor it's absolutely delicious so give the recipe a try anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time have a good one peace